Gypsy decided to surprise me and uh, dropped a baby while I was out trying to clean up the pig's house. It's literally been like 20 minutes since I was in here and she had zero signs she was in labor other than having no ligaments. And now there's a baby. Good job, mama. See, as soon as I say Minnie's gonna go first, someone else goes before her. Ugh. How are you, little one? Your mama's doing a good job. So I just came in and uh, cleaned off the face and used the little booger sucker to get the goo out the mouth. I have not checked if it's a boy or a girl or if it's pulled yet. Hi, little one. I can't tell. I think it's another brown-eyed baby. So the this is also a Jar Jar baby then. So now I should check. Did your milk come in? Okay, yeah, she's got colostrum. It's just super thick. You cute little baby. You did a good job, Gypsy. It's a good job. Yeah. Can we take a peek? It's a boy again. So far we've had five boys this year. It is a buck year. I believe this one is pulled though. Another brown eye. Jar Jar's not doing well throwing blue eyes for us. Yeah, you're cute. You look just like your sister from last year. Oh, we've got another baby coming out already. No bubble on that one. Little. Oh, you're so cute. Let's get all that goo out of there. Good job, little one. There you go. Make some noise. You're so cute. Oh, this is kind of the color combination that she threw last year as well. A really light colored one and then a chamose. Are you also brown eyed? Oh, I think pulled on that one too. Pulled is good. Would have loved blue eyes, especially since your daddy's got blue eyes, but we're not having, we're not hitting the best luck with genetics this year. It is a new buck though first year he's breeding and the first year I have used him so we did not know what to expect Minnie is also bred to Jar Jar so we'll see if we get any blue eyes at all out of her when I pair Wesson up with my does who is blue eyed and pulled even if I pair him to a brown eyed and horned we always would get blue eyes except for when paired with Minnie. And like 75% of the time, the babies would be pulled. We got brown eyes again. Well, are you at least a girl? Another boy, oh no, it's a buck year. Girls, you're killing me with the boys. Well, actually, I suppose that's not your fault. The daddy determines the gender, so Jar Jar is throwing boys for me. Wesson throws mostly girls. So. Kind of had high hopes for girls at a Jar Jar too, but it does not look like that's happening. All right, little buddy, enjoy your babies. Shall we see if you have any more in there? <laughs> and you're pretty much done. There's nothing left in there. So twin boys. For Gypsy. Twin boys for Haru. Minnie, please. Twin girls. Blue eyes, pulled. 
hopefully. Next up would be Raftalia. She is bred to Wessons. So if Wessons' streak of throwing blue-eyed pulled girls holds, then my uh, my chance for girls is over in that pen. These boys are pretty though. Yes, you guys are cute. If you were a girl, you'd be perfect. Yes, you're so cute. How's your baby? I just, I just take the little brown one in the house because it just wasn't acting right. Um, after about 30 minutes, it still hadn't stood up to eat. So I took him inside to get him warm uh, and see if I could get him to stand up. And it's been like three hours and he still doesn't really want to get up. His back legs are like really weak. So he needs um, some selenium. He does also have a minor birth defect. Um, he's got a cleft scrotum. So in feigners, they're allowed to have um, like a, up to a one inch split in the, the scrotum. And it's not really considered a defect until it goes over the one inch thing, but I'm gonna consider it a defect because uh, we usually don't see that. So he's definitely gonna end up being a weather no matter what, because I don't wanna pass that on to anyone. Um, this one looks okay. Just, he's got two little teats and uh, his scrotum is normal. There's no uh, cleft in it, so he looks good. I did double check the other two just to make sure because they have the same sire. So those two over there look okay, but otherwise, they're doing okay. Gypsy's taking care of them like she should. Minnie is still holding out on us. She has started to pace around the pen and look a little more uncomfortable, so I think she's starting to have some contractions. Raftalia still has not lost her ligaments yet fully. They are getting softer, but they are not gone quite yet, so she may not go until tomorrow, unless she wants to make me sit outside when it's cold and rainy and maybe snowy in the middle of the night. But hopefully she'll hold off until um, tomorrow, but Minnie here is most likely going to end up going before tomorrow. She might make it to tomorrow morning, but, um, I think she'll probably have babies here by this evening. She is a very slow laborer. I think last time it took her close to 10 hours from when she lost her ligaments and started um, acting like she was going to go into labor until she actually had the babies. I think it was about 10 hours for that. She's also bred to Jar Jar, so hopefully her babies come out okay and there won't be any defects. Um, this is Jar Jar's first year breeding, and these are the first kids he's ever had. Uh, I borrowed him from a friend of mine. She also has him paired up with a couple of her does. So hopefully uh, the defect on her baby was just a fluke and he won't pass that on to any more kids. Um, we aren't having the best luck with his genetics as of right now because we are missing the blue eyes on all of these kids. Uh, and one of them came out horned even though it should have been pulled. There's still only like a, a fourth of a chance for that, but... We're just not hitting very good odds with his kids as of right now. Um, but I have been spoiled with Wesson, who throws mainly does, mainly pulled, mainly blue-eyed. He's never thrown a pulled with Minnie, though. Which is why I decided to try Jar Jar with her this year for maybe smaller kids. And maybe we can hit that uh, blue-eyed pulled genetics. She did have a blue-eyed buck that was horned um, her first year, but... We've never gotten a pole out of her. It also seems to be a buck year. We'll find out if it's a buck year when my other does kid, because there are um, three other bucks paired to these does all together. So between the three other bucks, we'll see if they're all throwing boys or if it's just um, certain bucks that are throwing boys. How you doing, sweets? So here's the twin hanging out in the house. He's trying to get up now, so he's doing a little bit better. Also bottle feeding uh, a little baby for one of my friends. He wasn't born here, but uh, he's out of Boo, one of the goats that I used to have. So this would be Annabelle's half-brother. He makes a mess when he eats. <laughs> he's hanging out with me until he's weaned. Since... Um, my friends lost their house to a tornado, so things have been a little hectic for them, and 
when they ended up with him as a bottle baby, I, I said I would take him for him. So he's going to be friends with this new one here. Just getting ready to feed him. This little one, he tries to get up. He's got a lot more strength in his back legs now. So now his front ones don't really want to hold him up. And then if you stand him up, his back ones give out. So he's going to get a nice big old dose of selenium. That'll probably help. That should help with his uh, muscle strength. Then we're also going to get a bunch of food in him. So he has some energy. But yeah, these two are going to be friends for a little while. 